When it comes to commercial fishing, we often think of countries like China, Indonesia, and Costa Rica. However, the United States is top five in the world when it comes to commercial fishing. Tuna, shad, salmon, and halibut account for tens of millions of pounds of fish caught in the US every year. All of this fishing is legal, but there are some methods that slip through the cracks. The big one is all about sharks. The United States has a big problem when it comes to sharks, and I'm not talking about attacks or sightings. I'm talking about shark fishing. While shark finning is technically illegal in US waters, shark fishing isn't. And the combination of shark fishing and tournaments are leading to a decline in populations. This story goes incredibly deep. Why do we fish for sharks? And why has it become such a problem? We'll be answering all of those questions in today's video. Last fall, I had the honor of talking to the world's best underwater cinematographer, Jonathan Bird. We spent our call going over shark conservation and shark fishing. But before we get any of his input, let's go over the hidden truth about shark fishing in the US. In many places around the world, such as Central America, Africa, and Asia, sharks and bycatch are caught using methods like long lining and drift gill netting. These methods make it easy to catch a variety of animals in a quick fashion. However, it might surprise you you that these methods are used in US waters. And a lot of times fishermen are targeting sharks or sharks are bycatch with these methods. So if shark finning and the sale of fins is illegal in the US, what's the point of fishing for sharks? Shark meat will be sold for consumption after being caught. And shark liver oil is used for cosmetic products around the world. Even in US waters, there's some shady stuff going on with shark fishing. Now don't get me wrong, sharks aren't one of the massive targets in US waters for commercial fishing, but very few people actually know that it happens here. It's estimated that the shark fishing industry brings in over a billion dollars a year just in the northern hemisphere. The biggest problem with sharks in the US is recreational fishing though, which most often includes shark fishing tournaments. Just two months ago, the 90th Animal Alabama Deep Sea Rodeo took place with the goal to bring in as many tiger and bull sharks as possible. Now this is just one example of hundreds of different tournaments that happen every single year. Especially during the summer, these tournaments happen every single weekend on the east coast of the United States. And it's estimated that hundreds of thousands are killed for recreational fishing each year. It, it kills me that we're, we're still doing this. You talk about barbaric. I, I went to, I was uh, hired to shoot a shark fishing tournament about 15 years ago for National Geographic Channel, I think. And uh, I I just couldn't believe that we still do this. Like you're a he-man because you went out in your boat and you caught a shark and you come back and you hang it up and weigh it and you win if it's the biggest shark. And then they don't know what to do with the shark because nobody wants to eat the shark meat. So they cut the fins off and they sell those and they throw the thing dead away in a dumpster. Like really? It's disgusting. It's hor It's revolting. Why do people do this? Shark fishing tournaments are a way for fishermen to catch as many sharks as they can and gain exposure to the public. Nothing says I'm a fisherman like a 10 foot bull shark. However, these tournaments are often built on misinformation and lies. Fishermen often claim that there are too many sharks, which results in them losing their catches. But of course, this isn't factual. The US has become a very shark hated place, and these tournaments are a gateway for that to thrive. And shark fishing here in the US can be felt in different countries around the world. The island of Bimini in the Bahamas is huge for hammerhead shark diving. I was just there earlier this year. During the summer months, these sharks leave and migrate to the east coast to give birth. But over the last decade, many have not returned to Bimini, believed to have been caught in US waters. Now going into depth about some of the misconceptions about shark fishing, many people will show up to shark tournaments or places where sharks are being caught and see sponsors like Coca-Cola, Chevrolet, and Xfinity and assume that these are all legit. But these companies have no idea what they're sponsoring. Eli Roth's documentary called Finn from a few years ago revealed that these big sponsors rarely know that they're supporting a shark tournament, which is why fishermen often throw the logos up. And I don't see why, we, if you gotta do shark fishing tournaments, like if you really wanna catch a shark, 
I could be I could be okay with it if it's catch and release fishing. If you're gonna let the shark go, and I don't know, weigh it on the boat. There's got to be a way to do this where the shark doesn't have to die. Yeah. Take a picture. Hey, look, I caught a shark, and now let Sharky go. Like shark doesn't need to be dead. We're not at a point now where there's any place in the world where there's enough sharks that we should be fishing them. And as, as you know, sharks have extremely low fecundity. They are uh, they, they 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 don't have many pups and mm -hmm. they take a long time to reach sexual maturity so that they, they can make some pups you know they don't rebound quickly from overfishing so in an age where shark conservation is growing more and more how are tournaments and fishing still happening in the u.s jonathan seemed to have the best insight on this I think the only way that you ever can get fishermen on your side is to present a business case to convince them that business will be better if they do something in a different way. You can only get the fishermen involved if you can prove to them that it makes their bottom line better. Because what are they? They're fishermen. They need to catch fish. That's the deal. That's what they do. Um, I think that the, the people that are more afraid of sharks are the, the people that grew up with this you know, this, the media telling us that they're bad. There are thousands of successful, fun, completely safe shark dives that are conducted every day, yeah. probably. I mean, certainly every week, all year around, all around the world. And these, these shark dives show that sharks are just they're just fish, man. Yeah. My goal with this video is to show you that the United States has a whole world of shark fishing that most people don't even know exists. Sharks are vital for a healthy ocean ecosystem. I've been with sharks and filmed them interacting with people so many times. And the only thing I've learned is that they're typically docile and very important for the ocean. If you want some more info about shark-human interactions and any other facts, I left a link to my documentary in the description below.